Top 10 Interesting Facts About Tesla Semi Truck Tesla Semi Truck is believed to be the safest, most comfortable truck ever, so you might be wondering why that is so. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go over the top 10 interesting facts about Tesla Semi Truck. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 Autopilot the Tesla semi truck should come standard with autopilot and it should also be capable of full self driving. It should have all of the sensors, suites, and cameras capable of full self driving, and as a result, this truck should be safer than most trucks because it can essentially take care of and make decisions for the driver. It can stay in its lane, steer, brake, and accelerate. You may have seen videos of drivers perhaps snoozing off to escape risk, which can be beneficial to the driver. Number 9. Armored Glass for Tesla Semi According to Elon Musk himself, the windshield for the Tesla Semi is now made of thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. Whatever that means, I'm pretty sure it means something apocalyptic, like a nuclear war, where you want to be safe. Since it's 2020, cool can be helpful, we don't know what would happen in the future, but what is vital is that the glass does not crack. It's the Tesla armored glass that we've seen in the Cybertruck this time. It didn't break because it wasn't shown during the unveiling, but it's Tesla armored glass, and that should suggest that the glass does not break, or at least not easily. Number 8. Safety and Security The Tesla semi-truck has a low center of gravity which reduces the rollover risk and aids in handling. For example, we've all probably seen these videos on the internet where a truck flips over. And why does that happen? because of a high center of gravity. With the batteries being low, the center of gravity is low, almost next to the wheels, which means the truck's rollover risk is drastically reduced, which can be significant. Imagine you're driving along, say, going over a bridge and it's very windy. With a low center of gravity, the truck will feel stable, behave stable, and have excellent handling characteristics for a semi-truck, driving more like a car than a semi-truck. And we'll have to wait to see when it hits the market. Number 7. Next Generation Regen Another advantage of going electric is that you don't have to use physical brakes. It is because all electric vehicles use something called Regen, which converts the electric motor into a generator. Think of it as a wind turbine. Wind pushes the blades, which turn the turbine, and inside there's an electric motor generating electricity, so your electric vehicle effectively becomes an electricity generator, and that electricity charges up the battery. So when going down the hill, instead of using physical brakes, which can wear out or stop working, which has happened, and that's why you need these truck runoff points, you can use Regen. Without using physical brakes, you would potentially have more range at the bottom of the hill than you did at the top. It ensures that the Tesla Semi brakes will last the truck's life for a very long time, maybe a million miles or more. Number 6. Incredible Reliability now let's talk about reliability, because reliability is a significant factor for any car, let alone any vehicle, particularly a semi-truck. You don't have to do anything with a car, especially if you have a relatively new vehicle. All you have to do is top up the windshield washer fluid and change the oil twice a year, depending on how much you drive and such. And that's pretty much it for the most part. On the other hand, a semi-truck needs a lot more maintenance but there isn't much maintenance to do with an electric semi-truck. As a result, you have more time where your truck is working and earning money rather than being in the repair shop and not making you anything, which is standard with all electric vehicles. This truck will only use four motors, and Tesla claims that if two motors fail, the Tesla semi will still work. This truck will come with a 1 million mile or 1.6 million kilometer warranty, including the motor, drivetrain, and pretty much everything else. Number 5. Extremely Fast Charging This truck will be capable of charging from 0 to 80% in about 30 minutes, which means you will get about 450 miles of range in about 30 minutes. Here's why recharge time is beneficial for a semi. According to the law, you are legally required to take a 30-minute break after every 5 or 6 hours of driving. So when you're taking a break, this truck will charge from nearly empty to 450 miles of range in around 30 minutes, which is something I don't see when talking about a car, which you can fill up in under 5 minutes at a gas station. A big semi-truck with about 2,000 kilometers of range takes about 15 minutes to refuel. 
During that time, you're not even taking a break. You're just standing there. But when charging, you don't have to stand there or wait for it to set up. You can go inside the shop or wherever you are, maybe a restaurant, and take a washroom break and get something to eat. And by the time you are done, the truck will have more than enough charge for the next leg of your journey. And after charging, Tesla is developing their mega chargers, which they will deploy as needed because they will be working with the companies that purchase the trucks, such as Pepsi or Walmart or any other company with a large order for trucks. So they'll put the mega chargers on their route. The first mega chargers will be placed in strategic locations, allowing you to travel virtually all the way across the continental United States and potentially Canada in a matter of years. Number 4. Weight of Tesla Semi The Tesla Semi is expected to be around 1,000 pounds heavier than a comparable diesel truck with a 600-mile range variant. In an interview, Elon said that the Tesla Semi truck would be able to hold the same load as a standard diesel truck, even if it's just 1,000 pounds heavier, which is shocking if I'm honest, for a 1,000-kilometer range variant, that is a truck that can pull 80-90% to 90 of the loads on the United States roads today. Also, most trucks aren't carrying their maximum gross weight rarely. So even if you were to lose 1,000 pounds from the trailer, it's not that big of a deal since the cost savings will be sufficient to pay for it. Number 3. The Ability to Climb Mountains at Reasonably Fast Speeds This semi would scale a 5% gradient at a total vehicle gross weight of about 80,000 pounds at 65 miles per hour, making it the best of the best semi-trucks. The best diesel semi-trucks can only do about 45 miles per hour. I'm pretty sure most of the diesel semi-trucks on the road aren't the best of the best, which is why if you're driving up a hill, mainly if you live near the Rockies or anywhere with hills, you'll find a different lane for semi-trucks. The semi-trucks will change into that lane because they know they'll be going slower. Imagine the Tesla semi-truck coming along at 80,000 pounds and just pushing the load like it's nothing. Your gas car could struggle going up the hill, but not the Tesla semi-truck. And this can be very helpful because when going up a mountain, you wouldn't block traffic, especially if it's one of those older roads without a second lane built onto it. Number 2. Acceleration Semi-trucks accelerate slowly, and you will see this all around you the next time you go out driving. You'll notice that many drivers change lanes solely because semi-trucks accelerate slower. So acceleration for the Tesla semi-truck from 0 to 60 miles per hour is around 5 seconds without a trailer. With a trailer at a max gross weight of 80,000 pounds, it can do 0 to 60 in 20 seconds, which is incredibly fast for such a heavy vehicle. So, why does this matter? Consider this. You're behind a Tesla semi-truck and you know that it's a Tesla semi-truck. So instead of getting out of the way, you can ride behind that semi-truck because you know it can accelerate and keep up with traffic and you won't have to change lanes. Plus, lower, tra lower traffic congestion is a benefit to all road users. As a side note, don't try to drag race the Tesla semi because it will probably outrun you even though it's carrying a trailer. I don't think they're even supposed to drag race, but if anyone was in the mood to drag race a Tesla semi and the driver was up for it, you could lose even if you had a sports car. Number 1. Range The range of a Tesla Semi was reported to be 500 miles for the long-range variant and 300 miles for the shorter-range variant at the time of its unveiling, but that was around three years ago. Recently, Elon Musk was interviewed, and during the interview, he stated that the range of the Tesla Semi could be about 1,000 kilometers, so basically, the truck got a 120-mile range boost in about three years now. Experts believe the shorter range variant, which is supposed to be 300 miles, would be closer to 400 miles at max gross weight, which means the truck is traveling at highway speeds of 60 miles per hour or about 100 kilometers per hour at the maximum gross weight allowed on U.S. highways with about 80,000 pounds. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.